Hey guys, all right, so today I'm gonna to be putting together the Gloomhaven box organizer. Um, the Gloomhaven box is enormous. It is basically oh, bigger than my whole body put together. And it has a zillion and 10 components. So the plan today is to actually build the wonderful Broken Token board game organizer, which practically this is the size of a board game itself. Um, so the plan is to, <laughs> hi Eric. Do you want to help me put it together? You just wanted to come in and say hello? I'm just a fan of Gloomhaven. Um, and a fan of Broken Token. Okay. By the way, this thing is heavy. It's, it's like very heavy. It's almost as heavy as this box. No, this box is way heavier. So, there are a lot of components in this box. <laughs> Thank you, dear. There are a lot of components in this box, and I actually started to try to build my own organizer a very long time ago, uh, which did not get finished but I wanted to show you guys how unorganized, there's a lot of pieces in here, guys, uh, this is. So let me see if I can give you a good example. So check out this little tray that I built for some of the little pieces. And this is a pretty cool box thing that I built to separate out some stuff. It looks pretty nice and official. Well, let's just put it this way. The broken token one is going to be way better than mine. So that was why when I saw it, I packed and plugged. I was like, yep, it's mine. It's coming home with me. It, it, I can't wait any longer. I've been putting this off for way too long. So let's do a, let's do a build. Let's make it happen. All right. I want this to be organized because it is a lot. So let's do it. boxes uh, um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen boxes that i've put together 
out of wood for this. And now I have yet to put all the pieces back in. Um, whew, that's all I'm gonna say. And this came with all of these little doohickeys, which are, I believe, for the cards for each of the different types of bad guys. So I still have a whole lot more organizing to do, and this probably took me close to two hours to put this together. Um, but yeah, it's a serious organizer. It really is. I am really looking forward to my box being totally organized. They have a picture on the back of how everything is supposed to go sort of into the box. And I think you sort of have to figure it out and feel it out as you go along. So hopefully by the time I'm done, all of these, well these are labeled, but all of these will make sense. Um, and we'll be able to have a really awesome organized version of Gloomhaven. All in all, it was a pretty easy build to put together. I would say the things like this that have like the curved trays in, if you're putting it together and you want a tip, put both of the long pieces on at the same time and work your way down, pressing it into the pegs. I found that to be really helpful. Um, other tips, other tips. Just be, go slowly. I'll follow the instructions. They're there for a reason. I found them to all be really clear. Um, you know, this piece goes into this piece, which goes into this piece. Like, I didn't find any mistakes. Everything seemed very straightforward. There was one tricky piece that was, that I ended up putting in the wrong way initially and I had to pull it out and I wanted to remind myself which one it was and now I'm not going to remember all oh, that's so sad there are a lot of boxes in this though oh um tray h tray h there's lots of little comb shaped things in tray h just make sure you're using the right one because 14d and 11g and 15c all look similar they're not all the same. So make sure you don't mix them up. Um, okay, so I think at this point, we have to start putting things in the box, but this was definitely the build for the really awesome uh, Broken Token Gloomhaven box set. All right. All right, guys, so the box is now organized and it took another two hours, so I would say this is a four hour project, so make sure you set aside enough time to really make sure that, if you, I mean, if you wanna do it all in one fall swoop, it's gonna take you at least four hours. Um, but it didn't seem right that I would put it together and not show you guys what the final version was. So let me walk you really quickly through what is now inside and organized in the box. So let's do it. So here is the giant Gloomhaven box. So let's open it up and see what it looks like inside now that it's really organized. So, on the top, it does not look super organized, but I promise that it is. This is all of the map pieces and boards that come with it. Then you'll find the, oh, that's a piece of trash. Um, the actual map board itself. Any extraneous little bits and pieces, papers, as well as the uh, adventure book and the rule book, which is great. Oh, that's a problem. All right, so here is all the little action tokens. Now, in the picture, for this box, it noted that there were separate spaces for every single one. There are not actually separate spaces for every single one. Um, these guys I ended up having to mix because uh, the lightning bolts and these guys didn't have their own spot. So I don't know what happened about that. Um, that obviously in the picture that is advertised, they have their own slots. If you see this picture right here, it has 10 slots. And this only has eight slots, so not sure what happened with that. But it's fine. I don't really care if they're mixed up a little bit. Um, also in here, here we have all of our wound tokens, our coins, um, our um, trackers, and some XP. Those are all in there. And then we have our first box. You see we have extra room. So there is supposed to be an expansion coming out. Um, and they did say that there would be room 
for the things from the expansion. So there's a, some traps and uh, thorns and different things. Um, then we have two trays here that are different things that appear in rooms. So this one and this one, that can be doors, that can be tables or bushes or whatever. Um, and then, if you guys can tell, it's a little hard, I know, but over here on this side, here are this really nice, with lots of extra room, these uh, deck box, basically. These are the ones that are currently in use. This is the stuff that is not available to us yet because the game progresses as you play it. Um, so it's really nice to be able to organize those separately. In that exact same vein, here are the city and road cards that we have access to right now. Here are the like player reference cards. Here are objectives, other cards, things that we may not need all the time, but I'm doing things we're using on the left, things we're not using on the right so that it's clear for me because I'm usually the one pulling the game out. Um, also, here, let me show you guys. So, all of these are the character things that came with the game. Those stay in here. Um, but you see down here, these really awesomely organized cards are actually the, uh, different creatures that you fight. There's a nice picture on it. There's the name, if it'll focus. Alright, so, focusing or not, um, and in each one of these, which open, let's see if I can do this with one hand, not without breaking it probably, um, are the cards as well as the individual standees, which was a real problem when I was trying to figure out how I was going to organize all of this. So this is a really slick solution for that. Um, so those, and I have them alphabetized. It's upside down because I should have put the box the other way. That's my bad. So these trays right here are our different characters. So literally, this is one of the characters that is being played. Here is all the info for that character. Here are their cards, their um, attack modifiers, etc., etc., with extra room for other things as we move along. And they all sort of sit in here, stacked on top of one another. So I'll put that back there. And you see how they nicely like sit on each other, which is kind of cool. These are the extra characters. So here are all the extra characters, which sl slot in nicely right there. Here are the uh, different bad guys and their attacks and how all of them work. So once you pull them out, you need to actually find their card. And then it goes in one of these little sleeves. Uh, this is a very nice case for that. Um, here are the standy little, the, the bases, and then at the bottom are other arcane modifiers um, and other tokens and things. So, everything seems to have a place, and everything seems to have a home, and it all fits together pretty nicely if you are using two hands to try to put it back together. So, um, but yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with how everything fit together and seemed to be working. And it was mildly confusing to actually put it together. Here, let me put this back down. It was mildly confusing to put it together, but I think primarily because it was the first time that I was putting it together, that made it more confusing. Now, of course, as soon as I say that, I'm not actually going to remember how it goes back together. I think it's just going to take a little bit of practice to get the hang of exactly where everything goes. These go here. And these are actually pretty cool. So if you guys can tell, there's actually a hole in the bottom so you can press them out from underneath, which is nice because that was actually an issue I was having when I was making my organizer was that I couldn't get them out of the containers that they were in. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, okay, so what else is next? This goes in here. This goes in here. This goes in here. Look, I remembered, guys. Yay! The rule book and the adventure book go here. Here are the extra doohickeys and the, like, trackers and things. Some things we haven't opened yet. Map. And then finally on top are all of our, um map boards 
and everything fits in nicely together and we can put the lid back on. Do do do. So there you go. That is the Gloomhaven Broken Token box organizer build and organizing. I will say that it took a majority of the day today, this afternoon at least. So make sure you set aside enough time to do it, but it is totally worth it because now my entire box is organized. I don't have separate things in Tupperwares. Like literally I had a Tupperware with all of the different monster pieces in it because I hadn't organized them yet. So at least this is clean, this is straightforward. I know where all the things are and I know where they go back. So, and the biggest thing is I'm not hunting for the monsters to match their um, cards anymore. That's huge because that was a huge time suck whenever we were trying to play this game. So definitely check it out if you have Gloomhaven and if you've been like at your wit's end trying to figure out how to get it organized, it is awesome. Um, hopefully we can play again soon so that I can really give it like a real world test. But I think that the way that I've laid everything out, it should be pretty straightforward to find everything that I need as well as give the players their own little like place to put their stuff. So it's really nice. It's really nice. Definitely worth the cost. All right. I think that's going to be it today, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below and we will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye guys.